That's cute for a dollar 25 or whatever it is. I like that. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a little like haul slash try it out get ready with me type video for you guys today on some Dollar Tree goodies that I picked up a while back. Um, I just had the bag here so I went ahead and decided to film the video today so ended up with this makeup look and yeah just kind of a fun video playing with some Dollar Tree makeup. So if you're new here my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do get ready with me's trying out affordable makeup, new at the drugstore, um, empties favorites, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are doing a little Dollar Tree haul slash try it out slash get ready with me video. So let's get to it. Okay, let's see what's even in this bag. It's been a bit since I got this stuff. I'm almost positive I did not get a brow product, so I'm probably safe to go ahead and put on something for my brows. Almost 99% sure. So I think I just have cheek products and I think some like eye pencils. I think I got mostly blushes. I love blushes. So I think that's mostly what I got. So this is probably going to be mostly a haul, but then playing with a few of these products like on my face. So let me get this sorted out. Let me put some brows on and I'll be back. Yeah, definitely a lot of chic products. I've got blushes, highlighters, some bronzers, and then the shadow sticks. So mostly cheek products. I'm trying to open this. So let's just look at each of the things. So first off, I got this, I don't even know what this says, B Color Desert Bronzer and Blush. This is real cute. That's adorable. So let's swatch this and see what we think about it. A very subtle baby powder scent, but it's not overpowering. Oh, that's pretty warm looking and light. Wow. Okay. But maybe I got more of that center part. Mm, it's still pretty warm. So that's a pretty warm bronzer. To me, that looks more like a blush, especially if you get quite a bit of that. Um, and it doesn't necessarily seem like an overspray little powdery, but looks pigmented. Actually, I think that would make a really pretty kind of springy, peachy sort of a blush. So there is that. It doesn't have a name. Oh, cook. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, the name is cookie scented. No, <laughs> I think it's saying it's cookie scented. It just says desert bronzer and blush. So I guess that is what that is called. And then this one says desert bronzer. This one looks like a little cupcake or something. It still looks like a donut to me, but that's super cute. And it says cupcake scented, desert bronzer. Yeah, is this supposed to look like a cupcake or a donut? I mean, it says cupcake scented, but who knows? This is what it looks like. That's cute. This is very cute. <sighs> oh, it smells the same to me. I don't see, I don't, I can't tell a big difference between those. It smells kind of the same. Huh? What is that supposed to be? Maybe this is an overspray. Give me a moment. Okay, I think those are oversprays because now I'm getting into a little bit more of the bronzer sort of a color, but it's very fair. So if you are super porcelain, this would probably work well for you once you got past that overspray. I don't know what you like. What would you do with that before the overspray is there or before the overspray is gone? So yeah, there it is without the overspray. And then I got this that is a blush, but I thought it looked kind of like blushy bronzery, which I love. This is, I have no idea what this brand is, but this is what it looks like. Eoni, maybe, maybe that's the brand name. And it says blush in Virgo, maybe is the color but it's this kind of warm, corally, rusty terracotta sort of a look to it. Here is the packaging. Let's swatch it. This seems nice. Oh, oh, that's pretty. That's very nice. Has a little bit of a, a glow to it, kind of a satin sheen. 
that's really pretty. Definitely more of a blush for sure. And then it doesn't really stay closed because I mean, I think it will eventually like if you set something on top of it, but because it was kind of sitting open in the packaging, seems like it's going to want to flap open again. But anyway, I think that's pretty. That's a really pretty color. I grabbed more things from this Eoni line. I got like several more blushes here. This one looks really pretty. Actually, these don't look super different. Are those the same color? Maybe, because it says Makeup Gala. No, this one says GA09, and this one says like do different numbers dod 10 or something like that so i guess yeah, they don't see them the same i was just like well maybe they changed the packaging but is the color inside exactly the same did i buy the same blush twice oops so here is what this looks like very pretty bright shade i have a color oh glam peach this one is glam peach that's very bright that is very bright, but so pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's fun. Gonna have to be light handed with that, but that is beautiful. So knowing that, let me see if I can figure out. Well, I was gonna say, does this one have a color? It just says buildable and blendable, which I'm guessing is not the name, but I was wondering if it would have the name on the back, but this one definitely says glam peach. So that one is glam peach. And then this one, this is so confusing. <laughs> this says Billy there, but then it's Glam Peach on the thing itself. This one says Sophie. So let's see if it says something else on the blush itself once I get it out of here. Okay, so there is that. Very bright. Glam Rose. Okay, I don't know. I guess Sophie is a Glam Rose shade. And Billy is a glam peach, but the glam peach looks very corally, pinky, like raspberry. These are very close, but this one just seems, I mean, maybe a hint more pinky side. This one seems like a hint deeper and more raspberry, but I mean, they look very, very close. Both pigmented, really pretty colors. So those seem nice. Again, this seems like it's flapping back open, but these were $1.25. So, I mean, I'm not upset about the packaging. Then I got this one that says, I don't know, L-A-C-A-N-D-O-N, I think. And this is Eoni, and it says peach down here. This is what it looks like, and I will see what it says on the actual blush itself. That's cute. That's fun, bright packaging. It just again says blush and then it says buildable and blendable. I don't know. Electric jungle peach. So let's see. This looks very glowy. Wow. Okay. So I that would be interesting as a blush. Maybe a blush top. Oh, maybe a blush topper very lightly applied. That looks more like an eyeshadow to me. As an eyeshadow, that would be gorgeous like a really bright metallic peach color. That's pretty. Okay, and then last blush item, I think, yeah, that I got is this. The LA Colors Powder Blush in Sweet Cheeks, and it says new and improved. I've gotten this before, but it says new and improved, and the packaging looked different, so I wondered if it, I mean, it says new and improved, so I wondered if they changed it somehow. I wasn't sure, so. This is what it looks like. All right. So let's swatch this. Comes with a little useless, I don't even know what you would use this for, brush. <laughs> and there it is. That's so pretty and bright. I love that. We're going to have to use that one. And I might add just a little bit of one of these just for fun. Ooh. I love that. Okay, two highlighters. I got these two highlighters. I don't think they're the same. <laughs> this one, they look like the same brand though. This one says Eoni Moonlight Glow. Moonlight Glow. And on the top, it says V-A-L-D-I-V-I-A-N. I don't know. Face Highlight, but Moonlight Glow, I think is the color name. 
So here it is. That's, oh, I really like this packaging. That's really, really pretty. And then here is that swatch. Let's put it right here in between. So that's very light. It's like almost a white kind of a highlighter. So there's that. We need to put some makeup on this face. <laughs> this one says Emma, and then it says Makeup Gala on the top. But yeah, it says Emma Glow Up. Emma Glow Up. It's got this little kind of like picture there. This one also looks, oh. Something weird is with that swatch. Hmm, I don't know. It seems like a weird, weird texture or something. Like it's not getting a lot of product off. This seems odd, this particular one. Even this one didn't seem to have a ton of pigment and stuff when I was swatching it, but it's a highlighter, so I don't always want, you know, super crazy pigmented highlighter because sometimes those can be a little overwhelming and hard to work with. And then the eyeshadow things that I got, the shadow sticks from LA Color. This one is champagne. This is what the packaging looks like. Brighten your eyes, it says. This is in champagne, so let's swatch this and see if it's any good. Where can I swatch it? Let's put it up here. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Nicely pigmented. Doesn't seem uh, crayony. It seems pretty creamy in the texture, so that seems nice. And then I got pink pink. So here is this one. Let's see what this swatch is like. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty too. Again, nice texture to it. Okay, we've got some fun things to play with. Okay, I think I'm going to start by using this bronzer on my eyes. I've already got eyeshadow primer. Let me come in a little closer. Okay, so just gonna get around the outsides of this, tap it off, and apply this kind of into my crease and all over my lid as sort of like a base. Of course, these are intended for the cheeks. They don't say eyes, so probably shouldn't be using them on my eyes, but I am. Um, okay, now I'm gonna use this blush, which just says blush, looks like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on my outer corner and bring it over. Ooh, that's really pretty on the eyes. That's really beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to take the pink shadow stick and put this kind of right in the middle of my eyes. And I need a mirror. I'm going to kind of apply it to the middle and keep it kind of right there and lightly blend it with my finger. I'm not going for anything over the top. That's pretty, I like this. Yeah, for just like an everyday, I think that's pretty. Now I'm gonna take the champagne one and put this more on the inner part of my lid, like inner, I don't know, third or so. I love that kind of bright lid, but I like to kind of keep it more on the inner part. Just right there, blend it with my finger. I like that these seem to have some playroom to them. They don't seem like they immediately stick that you don't have any time to play with them. Um, that, you know, means they're a creamier formula, so they probably won't be the longest wearing. So um, I'm thinking pairing them with a uh, powder shadow on top would definitely help with the longevity. So when stuff is creamier like this, it usually doesn't stick and stay as well, but it's applying easily. It's not overly pigmented or anything, but for $1.25, I like it. I'm gonna dab a little bit of this highlighter on the top of it, just right there. Let me get a little tiny brush and do it with a tiny brush. I added back just a little bit more of the pink shadow stick just to kind of bring that back. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some liner and mascara and I'll be back. Okay, I also applied um, concealer and powder. So now bronzer. I'm gonna try this again. 
Let's see if it works on my cheeks. So I'm gonna try to concentrate around the outsides of it. Let's see if this will work. That's got a little bit of color to it. Um, I think I have a little leftover product on my brush that's more what you're seeing because when I worked on this cheek, there's not as much color over there. Yeah, this is just brush hairs everywhere. Um, it's okay. Yeah, just there's just not a lot of pigment to it. I wanna use this bright pink. This is so cute. I have got to use this one. So I'm gonna get some of this on a brush. Kinda tap a little bit. Barely kinda tap it on my cheeks. Build up the color. This is cute. I do feel like it's kind of like getting stuck in my concealer over here. My concealer got weird, so I think that's kind of happening. I think it's more my concealer than the blush because it's not happening over here. I really like this color though. That's cute. I'm just kind of going along the edges with my powder brush to kind of like blend a little bit. That's cute for a dollar. 25 or whatever it is. I like that. Let's use one of the bright blushes. I'm gonna use Glam Rose and just get a tiny bit of this with, I can't, I only have this bigger brush in here. So I guess I'll use this and just do one little tap of it. Kind of go a little further back. Oh, I can see a difference. Little bit more of a deeper color out there and I like how it's applying. That's really, really cute. Big fan of the blushes. And last up, let's use this, whatever this is. <laughs> Electric Jungle Moonlight Glow. I'm gonna get a little bit of it on a duo fiber brush and just kind of buff this. Okay, yeah, can't judge that by the swatch because that looks really pretty on the cheeks. I like that. And I don't have a lipstick, so I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Seek Adventure. Okay, so here is the finished look. I like how it all came together. I mean, I think for how affordable everything is, I'm pretty impressed. I would say the bronzer, meh, not a fan of that. Love this, really love the blushes. That highlighter totally surprised me and the little eye shadow sticks seem to work well. So that's exciting. So hope that you guys really enjoy getting ready with me today, kind of playing with some super affordable makeup. Please hit this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below what some of your kind of favorite finds from Dollar Tree would be. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.